Okay, so I have embarked on an ambitious project to bring a other zine to life, but this zine for the first time will not be an original system. It will be a supplement that is compatible with the popular Morph Borg uh, in the RPG. I recently ran some Morph Borg campaigns with my friends and it was very very good so i've been inspired to change what was going to be a systems agnostic kind of like a setting source book into uh it's still compatible with anything you want but it will specifically be designed for more work and will try to fit into that aesthetic and i had a whole original uh, setting for it the zine's working name is called meat it is about biopunk horror in a different dimension, so the PCs will find themselves transported to a different dimension where they will have to... Uh, it's basically like a hex crawl. We'll get more into that later. I wrote a bunch of stuff for it. I already did a bunch of work on it. Um, in this video, though, I will talk up more about it and also showcase my art. Um, specifically, the first... Uh, like monster I made for the this book um, and this is artwork for it the idea behind this creature which I'm calling the shroom banshee or the shroom waif for now is that they're fungi that infest corpses and then it mutates the corpse until it resembles something that looks like a uh, heavily warped woman. And then their head will start to grow really big and become bloated, filled with spores. Eventually the spores will uh, spread, you know, after the head explodes. Yes, how well I fight, I'm not super certain yet. I'm still working on the stats and the abilities for it. That is what this creature uh, represents. There is another reason why I have uh, started working on this project. You know, when I first drew this picture, it wasn't intended per se um, to be a zine. I did it because I was feeling frustrated with the whole uh, artificial intelligence art, AI art tobacco. I'll get into that in other time in more depth, but suffice to say, I'm not completely against the usage of artificial uh, of AI art for many reasons, including the fact that artists have always adopted new tools and new mediums. Uh, its main problem right now is the copyright issue, of course, which a lot of us are aware of, and also um, what I would like to call it, like a, a capitalistic. Uh, way of understanding art. Well, dang, I said I wouldn't get into it, but I guess I'm getting into it. But what I don't want is for people to not try art, you know? To be like, oh, what's the point? You know, they jump straight into AR art or they go into programming or something, which is not the point. Like, well, at a certain point when you, when you enjoy art for what it is, you you come to realize that it's something you, you have to do. Right? It's not something that's merely uh, for survival or to do a job with. And I think a lot of younger artists or new artists are misapprehending what AI art might mean for them. They, they're giving up before they even begin, basically. And I don't want to see that. Um, I, I wish people would try traditional art if they can, like what I'm doing. I, I really much prefer painting by hand, you know, it's I'm not a great digital artist, I wouldn't say. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to make as much uh, traditional, traditional with quotation marks because this is not, this is not fine art or anything. But I want to make as much uh, handmade art as possible, just to to kind of live in a moment. You know, it, it feels it's not true, but it feels like we're staring down a gun barrel of the death of traditional art. I, I don't think that's true, by the way, but it feels that way. So it almost feels like I'm obligated to like, to be more productive, you know, to have more output on the traditional art side of things. I think a lot of artists right now feel this way. 
you know you feel that you're going to become extinct so you want to try harder but again i like when you think through the logic of it you know that this is not true right art will survive traditional art will survive it's not gonna go away it's not gonna go away and so i encourage everyone to do more of it uh, i want to do more of everything more painting more drawing more sculpting more lino cuts all the stuff i enjoy about art why i love art in the first place even though i am a graphic designer i feel more of an artist you know and i want to transition into becoming a artist more than i am a graphic designer you know like that that love for it it's not because i want to make money or anything like that it's because i want to bring the stuff i want to make to life uh, painting is fun color theory and colors are fun you know i feel like a lot of people are missing out on that if they if they only see the the end result and yes it's true that we need to make a living with art you know i i get that but um if you didn't have to make a living with art why are you doing it you know i feel like there's a very valid reason to why people do art that has nothing to do with money and this is the important part even though this is only a part of the discourse you know in the short term obviously a lot of people are going to lose their jobs we're going to have a lot of turmoil and chaos a lot of career changes but i think art will survive because this is something humans love doing this is part of the human experience right? it's a it's a human process anyway keep an eye out for meat the uh, RPG thing I'm making. Uh, my intention was to make it uh, as a Kickstarter in February for Zine Quest, but I don't think that's gonna happen now because I wanna take my time with it. Yeah, and if you can do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I'm trying to grow it. I'm trying to get all of these footages I have edited and uploaded. I'm still experimenting with all kinds of stuff, but if you support me, I promise when I am at a thousand or a million followers, well, I won't remember you, but I'll keep you in my heart. <laughs>